in a faraway land. There was a young boy named Ayo. Ayo was a fatherless child. His father died when he was just very little and this is the reason why his mother never had another child. Ayo had a very wicked uncle, Mr. Oke, his late father's younger brother. He did everything he could to frustrate Ayo's mother to leave the family with her son so he could have all their late parents' property all to himself. Mr. Oke and his wife were one of a kind. They were terribly cruel and even influenced their children with their wickedness. One of them was Dakbo. He was Mr. Oke's first son. His father had made him believe that Ayo was a threat to their success. And for that, he oh. used every opportunity to make life miserable for Ayo. Ayo's mother was helpless, for she had developed a stroke years later due to the shock of losing her husband, leaving Ayo at the mercy of Mr. Oke and his family. On several occasions, Ayo had to suffer for Dapo's bad behavior. It was Ayo, Dapo oh. would always say whenever he did something wrong. Most times he intentionally committed those crimes to watch his parents punish Ayo. One day, both boys were returning from the stream when they saw two eggs by the roadside. Look, Ayo, said Dapo. Those look like freshly boiled eggs. I must have one or more, he said. But those eggs aren't yours. Please do not take them. That will be stealing. I your warned. But Dako would not listen. He picked up the eggs, cracked them, and ate them. You must not say anything to anyone. Or I will make life even worse for you, Dapo warned Ayo. They went home. That night, something terrifying happened. While they were sleeping, there was a very unusual knock on the door, followed by the voice of the old dreadful witch. Who is the child that ate my eggs? I will have one no more, he said. That same child I will have myself tonight, or you will have yourselves to blame. She repeated this three times. They were all terrified. Mr. Oke immediately got up and asked Dapo what he knows about the eggs the old witch was talking about. It was Ayo who ate the eggs while we were returning from the stream. I warned him, but he wouldn't listen. Dapo lied. Mr. Oke quickly went and knocked on Ayo's door. When Ayo opened, he screamed. So you evil child, you have decided to ruin us all by inviting the wrath of the dreadful witch. Ayo tried to defend himself, but Mr. Oke would hear none of it. He pulled Ayo out of the house and took him outside, tied him to the orange tree in front of the house and left him there. You will remain here tonight. The old witch will return to take you. Ayo's mother cried from where she was laid in the house. She could do nothing at all to save her child. She trusted that her child was innocent. Silently, she prayed for his safety. When the old witch returned, Dako's mother heard her voice and shouted, It is the child under the tree who ate your eggs. Please take him and leave us in peace. The old witch took Ayo to her hut in the forest that night. When they got there, Ayo pleaded. Oh, kind old witch, please spare me. It was my cousin Dako who ate the eggs. I'm a fatherless child with a very sick mother. We are hated by my uncle and his family for reasons I do not know. Please look through me and find my innocence. The next day, the old witch woke Ayo up, gave him a small drum and said, Take this drum and return home. Beat it in tune with the wishes of your heart. Ask for justice 
and anything else you desire. For I have found you innocent, and I wish to spare you. Ayo thanked the old witch and left. When he got home, Mr. Oke and his family were shocked to see him, for they thought he would have been dead. Ayo began to beat the drum, and the villagers gathered. Let this drum prove my innocence and expose the one who ate the old witch's eggs. And let my mother regain her health. Immediately, Dapo turned into a chicken. And Ayo's mother came out from the house to see her son. Ayo was so happy. But Mr. Oke and his wife, oh, they were so sad. They began to cry. Dapo was their only son. Please have mercy on us, Mr. Oke pleaded with Ayo. Turn your cousin back to human and we will never again disturb you. We will leave this village for good and you will have everything that rightfully belongs to you. Ayo took pity on them. He beat the drum again. Let my drum have mercy upon the child who ate the witch's eggs. And just then, Dapo turned back into a boy and Mr. Oke took his family and they left the village. From that day, Ayo lived happily with his mother. <laughs>